hi everyone today i'll be showing you how to fix your epson printer as you can see when i turn on my printer i get this red blinking light and because of this i can't use my printer i cannot print i cannot photocopy but in this video today i'll be showing you how to fix this so this usually happens when you're waste ink pad counters are full and uh, you either need to replace them or reset them but in this video i'll be showing you how to just reset them and get your printer back into working state so first you'll need to open up your browser and search albusters3d.net so we'll be using this website so just search albusters3d.net as i've done and you'll be brought to this home page so here you'll want to click on the shop as you can see so just click on the shop and you'll be taking into this product as you can see the buy reset key the week reset key so we'll need to buy this product and as you can see it's only one cent so just click to on add to cart and we'll be using this product to reset our printer so that it can it can get back into full working state so just add that to cart and now as you can see buy key reset key has been added to your cut so you'll want to view cut so just click on view cut and you'll be brought to this page where you can make your final checkout so i'll be using paypal to check up but you can use any method that is available to you so just select paypal and you'll want to click on continue that's if you're using paypal and as you can see this product costs one cent so make sure it's that and click continue so just wait for the processing and now we can finally place our order so again click on place order so just click on place order to get the product and bam there you go you'll be taken directly to the download page as you can see you can now download the software so you get unlimited downloads and no expiry date so i'll just download it when you click the download begins automatically and you'll just wait for the download and you'll just show it in folder so just click show in folder and as you can see we now have the reset tool so here you'll want to extract it because it has been compressed so just extract it and you'll open the extracted folder so just open it and here you'll see uh different applications so i want you to click on the second application so just click that if you have an antivirus program make sure to allow the programs to run and as soon as you've done that again you'll click on the first program so just click on the second then click on the first and again remember to always allow your antivirus program because if you don't it won't run so again click on ok to be taken to this epson adjustment program so we'll begin by selecting our printer model so for me i'm using the l382 model but you can select any model as you can see there's a drop down list where you can select any model so on the destination i want you to select exactly what i select so just select euro and click on ok so just click on ok and wait for the settings to adjust and now we'll go to the next step which is the particular adjustment mode so click on the particular adjustment mode to be taken to this page and as you can see we'll be doing maintenance and you'll select the waste ink pad counter so select that and click ok and now as you can see we are here on the waste ink pad counter and we'll begin by checking what our waste ink pad counters are at so just click on check and as you can see you immediately get the results and my main ink pad counter is a hundred percent used and my platen pad counter is 90 percent used and this is what is causing the error and we need to reset this so i'll be showing you how to reset it so that it's back to zero because if it's at 100 you can't use your printer so we'll reset both the main pad counter and the platen pad counter so we want you to click on initialize so click on initialize and wait so it may take a few seconds so just click on initialize and as you can see when you click the ok button the counter will be initialized so click on ok but i need you to notice that the printer will get disconnected immediately it is initialized so just click on ok 
and as you can see it will initialize and bam communication error don't worry about this this happens because the printer gets disconnected after resetting so now everything is okay now what we'll do is we'll check again as you can see the main pad counter is zero now let's run another check to make sure it was okay and bam as you can see everything is back to zero everything has been reset and now we have the full functionality back to our printer so just click on finish and we'll proceed to test if everything works so i'll check this one more time to be sure and as you can see when i check everything is zero and uh we'll click on finish and test our printer remember at the beginning we had that red light as you can see we still have that red light now all you have to do is turn off your printer then turn it back on again as simple as that guys so just turn it off and i'll turn it on again and this time if we did it correctly we should not have that red blinking light and as you can see guys everything is okay we don't have that red blinking light and now you can use your printer you can print you can photocopy and you can do everything without any problems and as you can see nothing 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 everything is okay and uh, that's it for the video remember to leave a like subscribe comment down below if you are having any problems or errors and uh, i'll try to get back to you guys and again until next time